You may need to enter a ref reference manually if it's only available in print or it isn't available via OneSearch or a bibliographic database, for example, a government or a charity report. To add a manual entry, click on the new reference icon along the top toolbar. And choose the reference type that best matches the source, for example, a web page. You'll need to complete the fields required and this is where it's useful to have a good knowledge of the referencing style you are using. I'm going to use the, ref the web page created by the Human Rights Watch to demonstrate. So this is the web page that I'm going to add into EndNote. So first we need to enter the author. Where there's no individual author, as in this case, you should enter the corporate author. Here it's Human Rights Watch. For a corporate author, you always need to insert a comma after the name so the EndNote will display the author name correctly. If there's an author listed, always use the format author surname first, followed by a comma, followed by the first name initial, followed by a full stop. Where there is more than one author, each author must appear on a separate line. Let's go back to the website. So we need to find the last update date. If there's no last update date, as on this web page, use the copyright date. So let's scroll down to the bottom of the page. Here I can see the copyright 2020. So going back into EndNote, I can enter the year 2020. OK, so let's next look at the title field. So I can copy and paste the title of the web page. So Angola into the title field. And just a note that when cutting and pasting, just make sure that the text is in plain font and size. We also need to copy and paste the URL. So let's scroll down the page. And in the URL field, we'll paste the URL. Depending on the referencing style that you use, you may need to enter the date you access the website in Access Year and Access Date field. So this is the date that I've looked at the web page. So the year 2020. Again, look at the referencing guidance um, for the, the format of the date. So I put 15 December. OK, and when you've filled the required fil fields, you just need to save the record. I use Ctrl and S. Or you can close the screen with the small cross in the right hand corner. To check if your reference is correct, make sure you've selected the right referencing style, then click on the preview window. So we're choosing Harvard Lancaster University Library. Click on the entry and click on preview in the right hand pane. If you need to edit the record, go to the reference window to make any changes and save.